Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Look at this mountain. It's impressive. It looks like it's formed by hundreds of different stones. Get your explorer kit ready. Today, we're going to learn everything about minerals and rock. Look at this stone. I've never seen one like this before. You know what? It's a rock, though sometimes we also call them stones. Rocks are the solid parts of the earth and can be very different from each other. There are many types of rocks. We're going to use this magnifying glass to observe this rock. Can you see it's made up of different elements? That's right, my friend. Those elements are called minerals and all rocks are made up of them. Rocks are composed from combinations of minerals that have formed naturally over time. On the basis of their origin, rocks can be classified as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Let me show you some examples of rocks. This is granite rock, coal, and marble. Did you know that petroleum, even though it's liquid, is a rock too? Petroleum is formed from the remains of living things like animals and plants, and from sediment deposits found in marine beds. Rocks are extracted from the surface of the earth in quarries, or they are mined underground. Minerals are very different from each other and have important physical properties – hardness, shape, luster, and color. Come with me, I'll show you some minerals. This one here is a diamond, the hardest mineral that exists. This one is talc, the softest mineral. This is a quartz. It can be white or pink. And this is gold, a very shiny material. Since prehistoric times, people have used rocks and minerals for a number of things like making utensils, building their houses, paving, or even making beautiful jewelry. Would you like to try doing this activity? Work with your classmates and put together a rocks and minerals exposition using everything we found on our field trip. You can pick them from different places and study them in class. Tag each rock and each mineral with a label and fill it out yourselves. Name, photo, location, color, texture, smooth, rough, hardness can scratch it with your fingernail. It scratches the glass. The exposition was a huge success. Today we learned that rocks are formed from minerals and that both rocks and minerals are part of nature and the landscape that surrounds us. If you want to learn more about rocks and minerals, watch our upcoming videos. Hello friends. Today we're going on a field trip to learn everything about rocks. I'm sure you've seen thousands of them, but do you know how rocks are formed and what are their characteristics? Let's find out more about them. Rocks are composed from combinations of minerals that have formed naturally over time. On the basis of their origin, rocks can be classified as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are very hard rocks formed deep inside the earth. Examples of igneous rocks are granite or basalt. Both are formed from magma, which erupts as volcanic lava. As soon as it reaches the surface of the earth, lava cools and solidifies rapidly. Sedimentary rocks are formed from pieces of other rocks or even once living organisms. Clay, for example, is formed by broken up pieces of other rocks. 
Coal and petroleum are formed from the remains of living things like animals and plants, and from sediment deposits found in marine beds. Limestone is formed from substances dissolved in water. And lastly, metamorphic rocks that are formed by the transformation of other rocks under great pressure or heat. Like slate, for example, which is formed from clay or marble, formed from limestone. Rocks can also be classified based on their hardness. That's why we say that there are hard rocks like granite, soft rocks like clay. Petroleum is also considered a rock. Since prehistoric times, people have used rocks for a number of things like making utensils, building their houses, paving, or even sculpting beautiful statues like this one. Nowadays, we use petroleum in different industries for making plastics or coal to generate electric power. Still to this day, rocks like slate, granite, or clay are used in construction. This slate roof, for example, this granite column, or a clay brick. What an adventure! Today, we learned that rocks are formed from minerals, or even animal and plant remains. And that based on their origin, we classify them as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Rocks are everywhere and play a major role in the world around us. Hello friends! Ready for a new adventure? Today, we're going to learn everything about minerals! Do you know what they look like and how we use them? Let's find out together! We're going to use this magnifying glass to observe this rock. Can you see how it's formed by different elements? That's right, friends. Those elements are called minerals, and all rocks are made up of them. There are many types of minerals. Granite, for example, is a rock made up of a mineral called quartz. Marble is another rock made up of a mineral called calcite. Some well-known minerals are diamonds, topazes, gypsum, talc, and gold. Minerals have the following physical properties, hardness, shape, luster, and color. Hardness. Hard minerals are very difficult to scratch or break. Diamonds are very hard minerals, but talc is a soft mineral. The Mohs scale describes 10 minerals based on their hardness arranging them from softest to hardest. Shape. Minerals grow into different shapes, regular or irregular. Aragonite has a regular shape, while malachite has an irregular shape. They look beautiful. Luster. There are shiny minerals like gold, and others like talc, for example, with much less luster. Color. Each mineral has a distinct color. Emeralds, for example, are green, while sulfur is yellow. Did you know that we use minerals for many things? Let's look at some examples. Gypsum is a mineral used in construction. It helps to smooth out the surface of walls before painting them. To make metals like iron, we use a mineral called magnetite. To make jewelry, we use minerals like diamonds, gold, or emeralds. What an adventure! Together we've learned that minerals are those elements that make up rocks. We also learned that they have important physical properties like hardness, shape, luster, and color. 
Minerals are everywhere and play a major role in the world around us. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.